Well, as 2018 comes to a close, so will another chapter for the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office as Phil Hodap retires after a long career in law enforcement. Our Josh Peterson met up with the sheriff to not only reflect, but look to the future as well. Over the past 12 years, the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office has faced just about every challenge imaginable, and all while under the leadership of one man. Sheriff Phil Hodap sees the past 12 years as a success and seemed like the right time to retire and bring in younger officers. You know, it's a bittersweet sweet thing to, to leave behind, but, uh, you know, it's time. Everybody has a time, I think, when, it, when they think it's, it's their time to, to uh, move on. Not much remains of the once decorated office. Just some boxes and some paperwork remain, creating the need to reflect, all while being grateful. Leaders in the sheriff's office are exceptional. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to make sure that, that the continuity and, and the um, exceptionalism continues. The lobby of the Law Enforcement Center proudly displays every sheriff Beltrami County has had in its history. And Sheriff Hodap says that he has no doubt that the 13th sheriff will hit the ground running. Chief Deputy Ernie Beidel will step into his new role as sheriff on January 1st. Hodap says that Beidel is right for the job. Yeah, Ernie's doing a great job already. He's been my right-hand man for a long time. And, and uh, you know, he's uh, the transition has gone very smoothly here. And, and uh, you know, he's ready to step right in. And after celebrating 44 years in law enforcement, Hodap says it was a labor of love and that leaving was bittersweet. But the success over the years was only possible because of a wide range of support. I get out in the public a lot and, um, and I hear nothing but praise for the work of all the public safety officers. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Prior to serving as Beltrami County Sheriff, Hodap worked 21 years as a special agent with the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.